else in the box but with this one not only do you get a cute little like pug dog thing pet whatever it's awesome but you also get a super awesome mount nice what's the mount i don't know what the hell it is all right i didn't look it up yet and i should it's know like, because i played I mean, this I've, game like I've crazy see i've seen the pictures but i don't know what it is like <laughs> It's oh. like some kind of dragon griffin thing. Oh, and it's well, like an Asian looking thing. Yeah. I All don't right. know what type of animal it is. No, that makes sense. Well, anyway. Um, so here's the thing about Mr. Pandaria is that um, I've uh, I've seen some people that left World of Warcraft to move on to other games, specifically Old Republic. And they said, oh, I'm never coming back to World of Warcraft. This game is terrible and it's it's old. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. Mr. Pandaria um, gets announced today. And those very same people, I can't wait for Mr. Pandaria. Oh, oh Old well. Republic. Mm-hmm. Oh, screw Old Republic. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, See? I want to level up to pandas 90. Pandas bring all the boys to the yard. I tell you, people make fun of pandas, but it's bringing, <laughs> you're right, it's bringing all the boys to the table. Pandas bring the boys to the table. I think we got our title. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everybody loves a panda. Um, but um, I'll probably talk more about that on, on World of Warcast. Um, we're going to record, I think, in the next couple of days. Um, we, we took some time off and, and we're slowly picking up before Mr. Pandaria. Um, nice. I've been playing beta a little bit, but not much, um, because I've been spending a lot of time playing WoW, uh, with some friends getting transmog gear. And, um, I'm, om- I-, I think I'm almost done. I think I need, um, I think I need my tier seven shoulders and I'll be f- finished if I, if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I, I yes. uh, oh, I remember the the reason why I didn't go back to beta is because one of the quest hub zones uh, wasn't working for anybody. So you were sort yeah. of stuck. Like you can you could grind and kill stuff and level up to the. Yeah. You had to get to eighty two in order to get to where I was to get the quest in uh, in, in that area uh, because I was only eighty and not. I'm sorry, eighty seven. You had to be. I was eighty five. I didn't quite make it to eighty six yet. Um, and so I was kind of mm. stuck. And I'm well, back. yeah, that kind of puts a damper on things. Yeah. So I have to see if uh, if they fix that yet. Because I can't report on it if I can't play it. This is true. Are you looking forward to the pandas? I am. Um, but I don't think I'm going to actually roll a panda. I'm not either. Uh, but I-, I would like to play with pandas. And I like having them around. The one thing that it's going to be a little confusing with is PvP because uh, once you get off that island, you have to choose whether or not you're going to be Alliance or Horde. Yeah, so there's going to be evil and good pandas. So you can't just <laughs> identify somebody by their race. You can't racially profile, you know, anymore. There, there's going to be pandas everywhere, and it's going to be chaos. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I mean, it's because if you come up to somebody and you just... It, if you don't have the titles over their head, it was easy in, in, in the, the previous incarnations of the game to say, oh, he's undead. Well, pretty much anybody hunched over his horde. Um, <laughs> right? Well, except for blood, you except blood, for blood elves, elves are the one exception. The one pretty race amongst all the, the evil, ugly races. <laughs> and then, you know, consequently, there's a uh, Draenei. Well, even Draenei are kind of pretty. But they're well, like they the one bizarre race on the good side. <laughs> Anyway, um, so it's going to cause problems in PvP but I, and, and on PvP servers, and I think that's pretty much it. I think it'll be fine just about everywhere else. Yeah, so, I think people will be able to handle it. I played a panda. I'm really not that excited about them. <laughs> you, I mean, yeah. you and I both, we, we, were, we got up, because I played a panda all the way to level 10 and I, and I left the island, and then mm-hmm. um, I rolled a monk, I think, Mm-hmm. Um, and you were roll. I forgot what you rolled, but we got to like level. Yeah, I eight. think I only got to level eight. I didn't get off the island yet, but yeah, I wasn't really excited for the um, to play a roly poly race. No, but I, like, I like I said, I like I like I like others playing them for me. I don't want to actually play them. I just like having them around. <laughs> 
So, yeah, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the Quest Log as, uh, as things go. If you want to listen to more about uh, me and Lindy and my co-host on World of Warcast, talk about, wow, that that's the place to go, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Plug World of Warcast. Plug World of Warcast. All right, let's move on to what I want. Uh, this is a, sort of a carryover from the Infinite Loop show. Uh, more plugs more plugs that casey and i do about um about uh, mac and mac lifestyle and ios and iphones and all wonderful things um and the infinite loop show we talk about sort of like the the mac related stuff that we want and i figured well why not just add it here because you could probably put a lot more stuff in here you know, add that anywhere right there, There's lots of stuff we want. Endless streams of stuff I want. I just want one of everything from ThinkGeek.com, but that's a whole other issue. Yeah, seriously. Uh, uh, there is a uh, there's a set of lightsaber chopsticks coming out. Now, there are lightsaber chopsticks out now. I was uh, going to say, they're not coming out. I see these everywhere. These were all over the place at the con. Yeah, well, these are new. These are different. These are LED lightsaber chopsticks, which <gasps> are supposed so to be... So they light up? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um what makes these different is just the fact that they light up more than the other ones. I think the other ones were colored plastic, but these are actually yeah, LEDs. Yeah. So how fat are these? Like how I mean, what kind of batteries do they they must even if with a little watch battery, they still have to be like really fat chopsticks, I would imagine. Yeah, I don't know. Um I just saw a picture of them. There's a picture of them all over the place. I mean, just just do a Google search for uh, pre-order lightsaber chopsticks because they're not out yet. Mm. But um, my family and I go to uh, Japanese and Chinese places all the time. And I actually have a nice set of ivory chopsticks. But the problem is that they're not one piece. And where the ivory is connected to the handles, um, mm. it broke. Like I got these as a gift years ago, like maybe 20 uh. years ago or something like that. And I've never been able to use them because they broke at the handle, and I've epoxied them many times and super glued them, and they just it just never works ever. So I thought it would be kind of cool to go to these places with my lightsaber chopsticks and say, "Oh, look what I got!" I got no, it. no, 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 sir. You leave your break apart, you know, <laughs> tweak wood, beech wood chopsticks over there. I brought my own. <laughs> I'm too good for your break apart chopsticks. <laughs> Be one with the sushi. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, um, what I want goes hand in hand, really, with your lightsaber chopsticks. It's on thinkgeek.com right now. It's the Chewbacca messenger bag. <laughs> um, so it's a it's a nice leather messenger bag, but the strap looks like Chewbacca's bandolier. <laughs> it's very sexy. <laughs> this is it really i gotta click this link because i haven't seen it yet it's it's awesome All it's right. very subtle you know it doesn't like scream chewbacca it doesn't scream star wars it doesn't have like star wars written all over it you know or anything it's just it's subtle you know it's, and those I in the know that. they get it so it does have the star wars logo it's about, it looks like it's about an inch or two wide very small in the middle of the the bag flap and the bandolier is just um, white, white rectangles mm -hmm. against the brown strap. That's pretty cool. Seventy five yeah, bucks. Nice, nice little bag. Yeah, mm. it's a little expensive, but I suspect it's um, leather, or at least I hope. Oh, it's faux leather, so oh. it's even um, friendly hmm. to leather. All right. <laughs> All right. Before we go, we're going to move on to geek of the week. We um, yes. This was an easy one this week. Um, so it, then, well, I couldn't even think of anybody else. You were there, like, I don't know who to think about. I'm like, I can think about a thousand. <laughs> well, shut up. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> no, go ahead. So our geek of the week is Neil deGrasse Tyson, and really, he could be geek of the week every week because I mean, really, anybody who knows anything about Neil, he's he's an astrophysicist, but the coolest freaking astrophysicist ever he's he's the most outgoing the most knowledgeable he can i mean you know he's well spoken most you know i don't know when you think of an astrophysicist do you think a total nerd who's a shut-in who can't and, yeah. yeah who can't i don't know isn't like good personality on stage or in front of people neil degrasse tyson puts all of those 
you know, myths to shame. He's a cross between Carl Sagan and Lando Calrissian. Yes, he is. Pretty much. Uh, the reason why I picked him this week is uh, is because he he did a little. There's a little video on YouTube about him talking about how beautiful the Enterprise, the original Enterprise from um, TOS, looked. Um, but the reason why I've got such great admiration for him is because I grew up watching Cosmos with Carl Sagan, and I actually almost, almost, but didn't um, apply to Cornell specifically because I wanted to go into their astrophysics program, but I wound up getting into computers instead and I wound up going to a different school. But he has the story about how he actually did want to get into astrophysics and he wrote to Carl Sagan and Carl Sagan invited him up and th- there's a whole story which I'm not going to get into. But it's, oh, it, wow. You, you got to watch the video. You have to. Just just do a search for on YouTube for like um, Neil deGrasse Tyson talks about Carl Sagan. And he tells this wonderful story about how um, Carl asked him to come up. And this is before Cosmos, by the way. Mm-hmm. And so now um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, along with Seth, Seth MacFarlane, is bringing Cosmos back, an updated version of Cosmos, to nice. Fox. Uh. I'm a little nervous about this because the original Cosmos was on PBS. No commercials. Yeah, that, yeah, that would. And he actually has a show right now. Mm-hmm. Um I want to say it's on PBS or on Nova. Um, or, no, Nova's the show, but on I think it's I don't I think it's on PBS. Okay. He, well, he also does Star Talk Radio, uh, the okay. podcast, which is great to listen to. And so, this is the reason why um, everybody I think should at least if you have never heard of him, just look him up. Because if you're into science fiction and everything like that, he has a unique point of view on everything, and he's just brilliant mm-hmm. and funny. And I think yeah. a lot of people really need to um, l- listen to what he has to say about about these subjects. And so, that's our geek of the week, right? Yay! Yay! All right, we're gonna close this out. <laughs> Figure out what happened to my damn internet. <laughs> for those of you that are listening, I edited it out, but my internet died, and I don't know why. So, eh, it happens, right? Hopefully not all the time. Nah, it never At happens. At any before. rate, we are the Nexicon on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I'm Casey Queso on Twitter, K-A-C-E-Y-K-A-S-O. You are Star Mike on Twitter. I am. We're also the Nexicon on Google+, Plus, on the Facebook, uh thenexicon.com um thenexicon at gmail.com if you have any questions or corrections if (laughs) we're wrong on anything please you know chew us out for it um that's what nerds do right that's what um we can be found pretty much anywhere and uh that's about it we'll see you guys next week bye bye